Japan is dealing with the aftermath of a massive tsunami today. The official number killed is now 375, and that is a figure, sadly, which is uh, even optimistic estimates suggest will rise dramatically. The huge wave was caused by the biggest earthquake in the country's history. Japan has now asked the UN to send rescue teams to help deal with the disaster. Another earthquake has also hit central Japan in the past hours, although there are no reports of damage from the latest aftershock. An emergency situation, meantime, has been declared at the Fukushima nuclear plant in the northeast of the country after it was damaged. The pressure inside the reactor has been rising tonight, raising fears of a radiation leak. However, Japan's nuclear the safety agency says to try to reduce the pressure, radioactive vapor may be released and that poses no risk to humans or the environment. Well, just after the quake hit, we had a chance to speak to an eyewitness who was in the capital, Tokyo. I was working at home and suddenly felt slight shocks. I didn't know what to do, sit at home or leave. At that moment, I saw a message on the screen of my TV. It said that in 20 seconds there would be an earthquake. I jumped up and left. It was shaking. I heard a crack. Husts and fences were cracking. I live in a private district of the city. There weren't many people, just elderly ones with cats and young parents with children. Yesterday, my neighbor's daughter had left for Miyagi, where the quake happened. We tried to call her, but mobile connection was lost. Although the epicenter was far away from Tokyo, I felt like I was in a ship while it rocked. It seemed like everything around me would crash. It was happening all day. Every time I returned home, it started again. Radiation levels, as I've said, are rising at the Fukushima nuclear plant after a cooling system there failed following the earthquake. Japan's nuclear safety agency says that radioactive vapor may be released to reduce the pressure. They're also saying it poses no immediate danger to the public. Alarmingly, though, the situation does bear striking similarity to the build-up ahead of the worst nuclear disaster in history at Chernobyl. Our correspondent Alexei Rzhevsky has more from the Ukrainian capital, Kiev. They initially may seem as very similar incidents, but in reality they are pretty much different. First of all, because what is now happening in Japan is indeed an aftermath of uh, a natural disaster, the earthquake. What happened in Chernobyl a quarter of a century ago uh, was a 100% handmade, man-made disaster, and this is of course the essential difference. The other difference is the, um, the fact that the reactor in Japan is uh, 100 times more powerful than the one in Chernobyl, and in fact the two stations, the two power plants in the Fukushima region uh, produced the world's biggest joint amount of energy and this means of course that this reactor which is under threat now is far more powerful than the one in the fourth block of the Chernobyl nuclear power station which uh, exploded 25 years ago. Also one of the differences is that uh, the security system in Japan uh, at the power station is promising that should any uh, nuclear incident occur at the station a certain dome will cover the nuclear nuclear power station preventing any leaks into the atmosphere, something which is of course missing in the Soviet era at the Chernobyl station and that's why uh, the, uh, the, whole re the whole continent basically suffered great consequences. But at the same time we also heard that uh, basically the uh, automated security systems went on after the earthquake at most of the power stations across Japan except for, Hush for Fukushima and nobody knows whether uh, this will be the case, whether the automated security system will work should any nuclear incident occurred. The worst case scenario is much uh, more grave than what happened after the Chernobyl fallout. According to several experts I've managed to have a, a word with already here in Ukraine and just read some interviews on uh, the internet as well. Uh, basically because, as, I, as I've mentioned earlier, the power station in Japan is far more powerful than the one in Chernobyl. Uh, this could lead to a serious contamination, to a serious emission of radiation should anything, uh, should any accident, should any explosion happen at the Fukushima a nuclear power station. Uh, this, uh, according to some experts from the Russian Academy of Sciences, uh, uh, mean that uh, the whole of the Russian Far East, some part of China and uh, to a large extent the uh, Korean Peninsula may be affected by uh, the possible uh, radiation emission from this reactor in Japan. Uh, so far as we've heard, the government is saying that the situation is under control uh, and also we've heard assurances from uh, the American scientists who are saying that right now the wind is blowing westward 
import from Japan. So should any uh, accident happen, then uh, the, all of the radioactive material would probably find itself in the middle of Pacific, not in the Russian mainland or China or uh, Korea or anywhere else. But indeed, uh, the wind can, ch can, you know, can uh, change any minute. And uh, obviously, if something happens at the station, this could be far, far uh, 10 times more serious than what happened after Chernobyl.